Good morning campers, welcome to today's captain's blog. It's 10.33 hours on Friday, June 20th, 2014. Should we drag that away from the giant charging battery while we get rid of it? Because <laughs> we got so much room to work in here. I, I think today we might make some progress on I really hope so. Okay. They painted it a lot yesterday. They did. Well, what I'm thinking is we can move all the welders over here. We can, you know, there's some stuff that doesn't go into the arts and crafts room. Most of this is arts and crafts room. But I know, yeah, there's, there's yeah, a lot of variable things. That table was supposed to go in the trash truck. Yeah, I brought this thing. It's such a cute little table. Oh, it's right over it every time. All right. Where are we going? I don't know. I just want to go up to the main set and do this. No, we can't do that, but let's move that cable. We can just go over there by the, the Batman area. So we got a treadmill that I picked up at a garage sale for 10 bucks. Treadmills are really cool. The old ones used to have synchronous motors in them, which is really cool for a rotary gap. And I saw this one. Guy wanted 10 bucks for it because the screen's all bored. Apparently the screen doesn't work, but the treadmill works. So like the motor moves and powers up and all that. Shit. So I'm excited. See, this is the quiet mornings at the lab. You guys, you guys don't see this much. Usually, I'm just doing office work, and, and it's it's quiet office work time in the morning before noon. It's very zen. Half the people here don't show up until noon. It's because nobody loves you as much as I do. Oh, okay. Except Stephen. He's usually here early. Both that, the Stevens are here early. I don't, I don't early. think Stephen ever leaves. I, it's lives. entirely possible. I, I meant Jabroni. I know Jabroni at least sleeps. He he complains if he doesn't get enough sleep, so I know he sleeps. He he well he's doing better now. He used to only sleep like on Sundays. It was, <laughs> it was like a normal thing. <laughs> Is there a slower, more awkward way you could do that while I'm filming? Is that possible? Could you I could I you maybe could do make that like with your mouth or something, perhaps? I don't know, maybe. Maybe maybe try with your foot? Because the whole internet right now just wants to see the chewy goodness inside the thing. And you're killing me. I don't know why you gotta be like that. Just have that. sexy sex when you're playing the whole internet just watching Batman screw. So we got the drain sorted out. So I, I think today we could focus on MDH tidying, because dear God, we need it. I think really? I broke it. Really? Really? Oh, because you're going to use really? it as a fucking head now. I might. I could get buff. I could be pretty. Why are you judging me? Oh, wow. Hey, check it out. Documentation. Alright, so we got a motor here. Simple DC motor with a big ass flywheel on it. And 130 volt DC motor. 18 amps. 2.5 horsepower. Treadmill duty. 6700 RPM. So there, uh. There's your motor details. What's going on? Josh is picking up his whiteboard stuff he built yesterday. Oh, okay. This is actually a pretty cool motor. Two and a half horsepower motor. And that's our, our power supply drive thing there. Plug it in. This must be the, yeah, the little Hall effect sensor here. Where's my magnet? There's my magnet! I got a magnet in my wheel. Yay! Huh? 
Huh? Cord's not plugged in? Hmm. Yeah, I got power. There you go. The display doesn't work. That's gonna be fun. You're asking a lot of that treadmill. <laughs> I gotta mess with this now. And this is, this is that point where you see it in every America's Funny Video thing oh, where you go, yeah, you're going to end up. Oh, that's... oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's totally for 10 bucks. <laughs> Kelly wanted that generator? Yeah. Everything's fine. Everything's safe. Don't look for it. Okay, yeah. So now we just hey, put On the treadmill, little idea that uh, there's a big debate on the internet a long time ago whether or not a plane could take off on a treadmill. Obviously, it could do the fact that it's using the air going by it. Get lit. But it's not moving. What? But the air isn't moving. It's just the thing, and like a little tiny boundary layer. You can take a it, it can get itself up to speed fast enough, but it'd still have to stop eventually to take off. I don't know, it probably could just take off. No, he's had to, <laughs> you get thinking about it because the air isn't moving. Right. So but your your prop if you got your props spinning and it gets up to full throttle, then Alright, we're gonna wait to take this apart because I ordered a duet. Because my duet is is dead. We're gonna put my duet on a treadmill. Alright. And we're gonna check it out. We're gonna, we'll take all. We'll take that off. off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. For now, we'll just fold it up side to side. But when you do it, because you're gonna get here in, in like a week. But this is an experiment. All right. This is yeah. That's really cool when you think about it. All right. We have, we have treadmill. We ought to put pepper on it. You put pepper on a treadmill. This is what's gonna happen. You gotta come up here. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Sounds a little crunchy. You're generating electricity. Now we put Hi, we put moose on it and watch her destroy it. <laughs> She knows how to carry the water.
You know what I also want to do with it? Launch stuff off of it. Yeah? Crank it up to full speed, just drop shit out. <laughs> with it slightly angled no, up. Oh, well, it's designed to fold up, right? Right. So we could... We can pivot it. We could grab that and pivot it up and mount yeah. an angle. Yep. And launch it. Yeah, that's... that's... I'm down with this. Because all I want is the motor drive out of it. I don't care about the actual, like, right. board. I give no fucks are given about the board. This is how I run marathons. Okay. This one's also old enough that it actually just has a slider for speed control instead of digital buttons. What speeds does it give you? It has slow and fast. What's fast look like? It's faster than I can. Well, though with me on it, fast looks like the slow. I just want to see how low it goes. This is how we're going to do our cheap trucking shots. No, you know what this is? No. Log camera training tool. <laughs> I'm teaching sand, people how to walk with a camera. I have sandpaper big enough. Okay. So he turns into a giant belt. We do have sandpaper big enough. That, that would be funny as shit. It's the ultimate trend build. You stop. No, see what we do is we cover this thing with like 30 grit and use that for launching shit. <laughs> I have that in 30 foot that big. Yeah? <laughs> wow. I don't watch videos people post. Yeah, that's actually nice. This is where he gets hurt. Okay. <laughs> Next week we get a pommel horse. Huh? That keeps up with it. Yeah. Usually, usually, you know, heavy guy like me can't get it. It's when, like my Did old man's have a little heart attack here right now. My old man's little, little, you know, fancy one that's supposed to handle up to three hundred. Yeah. Um, over it, obviously, but it bogs down. It's like, oh god. <laughs> this one's just like, I don't give a fuck. That's gonna be neat. All right, so we're okay, we're gonna do some terrible things with the treadmill, cause ten dollar treadmill, man. Ten dollar treadmill. All I want is the motor and the drive. Right. So, pretty sure, cool. though, I'm pretty sure the only safety feature on this trailer. There, there are no safety. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 the, that's your entire your safety. Your cat safety crawls feature. under there, it's gone. Yeah, but it's a cat. <laughs> the cat will come out this way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think we rig up a little 80 20 mojo for legs on this end. I just put jack stands on it for the day. We'll, uh, we'll take the. Uh, the plastic side bits off, yeah. and add some side rails to it to keep shit on the side, like, yeah. on the course. We'll be back. All right, guys, time is 13, 31 hours. It's a late viewer mail today because of Enos. It's entirely his fault, but you'll get to hear about that later. Um, Enos, I got the damn thing. Getting it home in the Del Sol was a fun time, but I got the damn thing. So, it's time for viewer mail. Let's see what we got. No name on it. No idea who it came from. But it came really, really fast. What well, was Amazon? It says UPS Red. Pretty sure Amazon just owns UPS. It's a flag. Is it a flag from? Ah! It's a flag from Timmy and his sister, so I already know what it's a flag of.
I'm pretty sure it's a flag, but I can't imagine it being anything else. All right, let's see if anybody else in the room knows it. What is that a flag of? Can I answer? Huh? Romania. Very good. It's Romania. Yes. Thank you, Timmy. Timmy and Anka. Timmy's the kid in the high voltage video that you're going to see very soon. So today's viewer mail is sponsored by the entire country of Romania. The whole country? The whole country loves us. <laughs> but they didn't put their name on them. It's an Amazon. I'm just glad they're not These the really little ones. These are Moose's zip ties. Ah, I told you excited you to see me. Those are Moose's zip ties. I may put only this neon ones on the wish list now. This is heavy and it's from Milwaukee. It might be beer or a Harley. It's a very small Harley. Oh, there's a note. This is from Jason in Milwaukee. Captain, enclosed are some items I hope somebody there can make use of. A Z-Wave light switch and wall plate. I saw a similar item on the Amazon wish list marked for a boxy project. Remember that I had one sort of waste since the wiring in my house is too old to use for such things. There's also a Z-Wave motion sensor to go along with it. There are two fingerprint scan scanners that are removed from a retail kiosk that I scrapped. Also, I have included a few CPUs for the tile project. Congratulations on 20 years of awesome. I look forward to the chance to visit the lab again to see how much has changed in the year since I was there last. Glad to see the floor and see is still looking good. It is. It's quite lovely. And thank you for helping on that. Jason Skuglik. Remember RW Jason. All right. Let's see what we got. A decorum plate. That's cool. That's I am really so cool. excited. I am, I am tingly excited about that. CPUs. Here's the Z-Wave dingus that goes with the decor of wall paper. And a PIR motion sensor to go with it. And then another fingerprint scanner. So this is a fingerprint scanner? Mm -hmm. You can tell because there's fingerprints all over the window. But that's a weird looking fingerprint scanner. Well, it's it relatively scanner. commercial. That, that he said it was a retail. Industrial. This, this is like boop, pay for your check thing. But this is a fingerprint scanner. Dan i got to plug it in. Here, there's a computer down there. Plug that in down there. If this is plug and play. It's totally <laughs> plug and play. It's just going to work. Say, I just want to see what it, I just want to see it light up and do what it does. Because I see what looks to be a lot of LEDs in there, and I think they're probably IR. Mm. Ooh, no, they're not IR. So you got like 10 year. Okay. It's Linux. It might just go high. But it's not. Wouldn't you all just shit if it just went, hello, Mr. Boo? All right, that's neat. Thank you, Jason. Right now you upload the content. Yeah, now the NSA has my fingerprints, again. Cool. That's that, and we're back. Uh-oh, I know that logo. It's from Brad. So Brad at Tactical Keychains. Oh, I know what it is. You know what it is? I do. Well, that makes one. I know it's something made from titanium. We're going to play with it. Huh? We're going to play with it. Huh? What? I recently got one. You got a you got a titanium from tactical keychain? Uh, from tactical keychains.com? Yes, I got the um, hand grenade bottle opener. Oh, okay. Uh, my parents sort of wore a steel bottle opener out, so I upgraded them. Keep going. So Brad is doing a Kickstarter with those little magnets, and he made us some tic-tac-toe sets. It's because I'm like, it doesn't, magnets, they only go together one way, so I can't see their design, so I can't, 
He might have done that just for you. Well, they're all they're all the same polarity in a thing, so they only go together one. But okay, I get it. It's a tic tac toe set, so you start to work great on my door. Like that. I think that was the idea. This is cool. So he's got a Kickstarter going for this? Yep. All right. Guys, there will be a link. Brad, send me a link um, in the blog. That is really cool. For the Kickstarter, if you want to get one of these, and it's Brad from Tactical Keychains. We know Brad. We love Brad. He's a member. He's developed a lot of projects since I came across him originally. And he is, he is exactly what the Geek Group is all about. Guys that are inventing new stuff and trying new things and that, and he likes to experiment. He sends me some of the weirdest shit, and like like this, it hurt so much getting that back out again. So I just keep it there because I'm kind of sensitive. But here's what's up for the day. Um, oh, you need to know about this. I do contests from time to time, and you're in charge of shipping the things. Well, because of this, you're in charge of answering the people on the comments. You have to follow the blog comments. You, every day, in Bureau Mail, get to be the guy who announces who won the contest. Okay. Okay? So that's going to be your thing. Every day in Bureau Mail, you get to announce who won the contest. You are entirely in charge of contests. It's, it's, all, it's all you now. All right. What did you in charge of contests? You need to search. Here. You can do this. You can, you can send these out. What the hell is that? You can, you can send these out to people. Along with the sex bolts? Nichrome wire for thumper. I don't want to put nichrome through thumper. I use the hell out of nichrome. We need nichrome wire. High power silicon. Can you get it? Hang on. <laughs> I'm getting there. We talked about boobs versus beach, right? We talked about boobs and beach, okay? This is boobs. This is silicone, maybe with carbon in it? Is that what it is, silicone? With, it, it's a, it's, it's just a, huh? It's just a tube of sealant. Okay, the, it's just this is car, car. silicone car, okay. This is silicone, that's boobs, gummy bears. Then there's silicon. Shit! We moved them! They're, across they're, the they're, 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 they're in that white tub right there. That's silicon. Bring forth the tub of Antioch! Thank you. Well, we're always talking about the boot poop thing, and that's a uh, boot that looks like that. Okay. <laughs> Silicone. Boobs. Silicon. Beach. Sand, silicon, silicone, silicon, boobs, and beach. Okay? Alright, now let's see, see, let's check your retention. Ready? Which one's that? Sand or beach. This is? Silicon. Con. Very good. He can't be taught. <laughs> now, if you go to Mexico to get your uh, surgery done, it's the same thing. They're just, you know, sandbags. He's speaking from experience. My mom got gypped so hard. <laughs> Boobs. I'm keeping it. It's going on my wall. Alright, that is viewer mail for the day. Why do I have three of these? Because you can put it in different places. Okay, that makes sense. We're going to try nichrome wire and thumper, but I might. I, I, I have ideas for nichrome wire. Oh, shit! Okay, that's, yeah. I want to make a big dummy load. Like a big, big resistive ballast. Okay, got a thing for you guys to research today. This is a thing to look up. I need to find some inductive current limiters, like commercially available. I need 120 volts, 20 amps, 240 volts, 30 amps. Yeah. Inductive current limiters. It'll look like a transformer with just one set of windings, but I'm hunting this stuff. So comment, let me know, and the first person to comment 
with a good, it's got to be American source, it's got to be an American company because other, com other countries don't like to donate stuff because they don't get the tax right up. Also, um, another thing that I need people to do some digging on, this is especially for the IRC, so I'll talk to the IRC. IRC! There are, around the world, maybe 20 high voltage research labs. Um, the nearest one that I've been able to find is the University of Ohio has one. Pretty nice one, too. Um, anybody who has a research high voltage lab is going to have an equipment morgue somewhere with old high voltage junk, J-U-N-Q-U-E, junk. I want their junk. We need to rebuild our high voltage lab pretty much from scratch. And if we can use somebody else's trash and give them a happy tax write off and, and use it to build our lab, then that is awesome because I like upcycling and recycling and stuff like that. And we don't care if it's 60s vintage gear, we just care that it works. And even gear that doesn't work might have parts that are usable. So I'm interested. If you know or are connected with a high voltage lab anywhere in your area, please send me an email, info at thegeekgroup.org. I'm interested in talking to you. I'm interested in making friends at high voltage labs because everybody in the nerd world has junk and everybody loves to share their junk. And we have a pretty good reason to share. Cool. So that's it for viewer mail today. Thank you everyone. Oh wait, there's one other thing that arrived today. Something showed up and you guys might be a little bit excited to see this. Could, could you come here a minute, sir, please? That's Quentin Burns. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. You look, you look 3D. I look 3D. <laughs> Get back in your camera. I'm, I'm, I'm in the camera right now. Yeah. So Quentin Burns is here, and Kidwell's coming tomorrow, so it's going to be a whole thing. And we might do something with space. I have no idea. But he's here. This is the guy. This is... The guy with the radio telescope doing the whole thing. Did you ever get your damn computer? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then he's happy, too, so life is good. You guys have fun. That's your mail for today. Tell him we'll see him later. We'll see you later. All right. Another All right. You're going to want to see Time this. Time is 1555 hours. <laughs> Tell them who you are and what you do. Uh, Rick Steele. Design, engineering kind of guy. Rick Steele. And he's not a porn star. I don't know. But just <laughs> so show them what you got here. You got a thing. This okay. is this is one of your products. Yes. Now this is your products. product. This isn't like something you bought. This is something you guys make. Right. Okay. Yeah, we own the patents on it and we manufacture it. Okay. Show them. Show them Made what you in got. Traverse City, USA. In any event, tape dispensers. Where are they when you need them? They're not where you think they are. But if you use this properly, this docking station mounts. It mounts to a wall or it mounts up under a cabinet. And the tape dispenser, when you're not using it, sits there like this, and it's there when you need it. If the last guy put it back. <laughs> so, what's different about this than your standard tape dispenser is the wall bracket right out of the chute. And then the tape dispenser itself, uh, when we designed this, we said, we said, what do we usually do when we use tape? Well, we're usually marking a box. So we have a permanent marker pen. And if we're making a new box, we probably recently cut into a other one or we forgot to put something in the box. So there's a 13 blade breakaway knife. And then more than likely, you're gonna, unless you're gonna deliver it on a horse, you need to ship it out UPS or FedEx and you're gonna need to know how big the box is. So there's a, <laughs> there's a tape measure. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, this blade here is two-sided. There's no screws like on a traditional tape dispenser to change out the blade. You just get a pair of needle nose pliers, pull it out, turn it 180 degrees, put it back in so you get two blades uh, for one. And you can also buy packs of three that store right in the handle okay. of replacement blades. And then what's awesome is you're not taping boxes all the time with shipping tape. How many times do you just need a piece of tape? So this. Uh, also has you covered for that. What happens is, see these buttons on the side? When the tape, let me do this real quick. When you're taping boxes, the tape is coming out underneath that roll. Okay. So you're taping boxes, you're, you're, you're done taping boxes. Now if you're not gonna use it, say, for a few days, and you put it back in that docking station, you might want it offering up tape like a scotch tape dispenser to you. So what happens is you take this tape, you go like this, 
and it's going to come over the top of the wheel now and with these buttons you press that press plate down turn it around and now it becomes a scotch tape dispenser <laughs> <laughs> and then now you back it into here and it locks and now it's sitting there like the duct tape dispenser offering you up tape that's tight and you gotta show them the duct tape dispenser. There's, they have, they have a, a similar thing. Yes. This so was the, this was the first idea. This was the, <clears throat> this was the first idea. Same thing. Where is the duct tape when you need it? You usually don't know, so you have to go looking for it. So again, this docking station, you mount it somewhere in your workshop, work area, and you load the tape dispenser with a roll of duct tape. Very simple. No tools needed. You push that button. The uh, dispenser rotates apart. You put the uh, tape on there, put it back together. There's a belt clip. Where's that belt clip? There's a belt clip that pops in the left or the or the right side. You know, uh, in case you're on a ladder. I put it back in the box because there's a bunch of little parts. So yeah. There's a belt clip that we just haven't put in yet. So the idea is, you park the duct tape in the docking station uh, like so. So if you just need a piece or two of tape, you just walk up hands-free, and it's offering you tape 24-7. And then if you need more tape and a lot of pieces in another room, you press this little lever, and then it becomes a portable device. And then you walk around and, you know, do whatever. If you're up on a ladder, the belt clip is handy for putting on your side or on the ladder. And so you'll never lose your tape again with these things. Cool. Well, there you go. And this is all from what's your company's name? Uh, it's called Tape Wrangler. Okay. So the website's Tape Wrangler. It's right there. And uh, these are made in Traverse City, Michigan, USA, baby. There's one thing you're missing. Yes. Laser guidance. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there you go. There's a lot of things we're missing, but there's always room for improvement. Now, you're here right now working on your next project. Yep. And is that a secret, or do you want to tell people about it? Or no, it's it's awesome. Uh, it's a game. It's a game. It's for somebody a uh, little a little kid, old enough to stand up, can play it to somebody 101 years old sitting in a wheelchair. And it's, it's called and Extreme Ring Swing Games. Uh, but if you go to extremeringswing.com, you'll see them. Okay. And they are uh, themed ring swing games on steroids is the best way to explain it. And he's designing all of this here. It's getting built yep. at the lab. It's a whole project thing. So check it out and you'll be able to follow along. Okay. We'll be back. Okay, Skippy Phelps! I have some, something to show you. Later. Yeah? You know what you're experiencing? <laughs> what? Vlog. The most glamorous <laughs> job at the Geek Group. You're scraping gun. You're living a dream right now. <laughs> Always. It's the inner rubber. Yeah? Cool. Oh. We already got something. He's he's cool for now. Okay. That one's hey. nice and clean. What? I'm one of the cool kids now. Uh, Tape Wrangler. Yeah. See what I got? It's a flight case. Get it? That's your clever. That's your clever aviation comedy there. So this is radian number one, which I now refer to frequently as tree. <laughs> and, oh wow, grass is really wet. Well. It's been raining, what do you expect? Yeah, but like the grass is really, really wet. Well. It's okay, the planes are made of foam. The downside is the batteries are on the bottom. <laughs> Stick! And he's off. Wow, that very slight wind. It doesn't take a lot of wind, and you're more impervious to it than I am, probably. So you should be all right. Yeah, basically a beginner stunt plane versus a glider. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got another quad. Yeah. No. Yeah. Todd's got his quad. Enos will be here shortly with God knows what. Enos is like me. If he shows up to fly, you have no idea what the hell he's gonna bring. All right, Todd. Well, eventually, when I catch up with my bills, maybe I'll get something. That would be cool. Join the Geek Group Flight Club. It's what all the cool kids are doing. Did you crash that that fast? Yes. Huh? I know you didn't run out of battery. Oh, no.
Oh no, what? What'd you do? What'd you do? Were you bad? Well, I'm done. Why? You busted off You're the front. There were pairs. You're done? Yeah, that's it's Really? It won't fly? It, it might fly, but What's if, wrong I, with if it? I hit the ground again, it's Well then you know what you gotta do. Just don't hit the ground. Don't hit the ground again. How hard is how, it? how am I supposed to land in the grass? Catch it. Yeah, it flies. Look at that. It's great. I'm supposed to catch that plane. Here. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Enos! Enos has a headlight out. The battery already? Barely anything is holding the front of my plane together. Some tape. There's the tape plane. Hey, we got a new tape dispenser, so maybe you can I use those. My plane. I know, but your tape is actually holding it together. Mine's just sort of like there. Oh, I have a sense. sticker. Enos is here! Ooh. Something for you to take home. What the hell am I going to do with that? Fly it? I'm going to crash it to hell. So what? Will it fly? Yeah. Well, not right now. I popped the last battery. Oh. But you you've got batteries. Not with that plug. No? no? I got some of those plugs in my case. Is that a 7 2? What's up? Hey, you got a Radian. Yes, I do. I, I have a Radian Pro now, thanks and... to you. What's that? I got a Radian Pro now, thanks to you. What's yeah, the... did you... He sold it to another guy, yeah. and then he called me today. The guy brought it back. What? The guy fucked up the uh, port. If, By the way, if you get anywhere within reach of that quad, it will suck you out of the sky and eat you, just so you know. What's the voltage on that? Uh, Seven two, nine six. Run. Shit, shit, shit! My testicles dangling. <laughs> <laughs> I got dangly bit. That UMX is saving your ass right now. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can run two cell or three cell with this. Remember, I was telling you about the prop savers. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's, yeah, I got that's one. That's cool as hell. Yeah. Makes it so you can Jesus, crash without freaking moves. Hey, Enos. Yeah. I think the clock is done. Oh, nice. All right, watch out, Chris. It's coming back. Where is it? Is it coming back by itself? That shit? It's coming back to land. Well, I'm trying to bring it back to me because I don't. I can't. I I don't know which way it's forward right now. So. I see you've lost orientation. So that's totally safe. You need a tennis ball. Yeah. I do need a tennis ball. So right now it's on Get autopilot. Away from his quad is what I'm doing. Here's a mod you should do. What? Pick up those plastic things. And put in magnets. magnets. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I lost some of my magnets. Yeah. Some that were. Uh, Wait, let's see them. I got a whole. So, Bucket of those magnets yeah, in my lab. I am totally doing that to my plane. I used. Watch oh, out what hot glue you use. Because if you use Damn it. You're still dangling. Ugh. Yeah, it's just doing fun things to my center of gravity as it moves backwards and forwards. Welcome to being a pendulum. Yeah. All right, let's let's put this down gently. That sounds angry. That's a light gust when you go under it. <laughs> yeah, you do not want to be anywhere directly over or under his toy. It will kill you. I'm just burning altitude gently. Oh, look at that. Mad skills. You can put that damn thing together and fly it? Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Busy watching you guys. Got no thermals today. Oh shit, there's no thermals. There's no sun. <laughs> you don't need sun for thermals. It helps, but... That is some crappy Velcro. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Cursing my tight. crappy Velcro is what I'm doing at the oh, moment. Oh shit, when? No. Okay, that seems to be reasonably attached at the moment. <laughs> I want to try it in grip that? mode. You're no, going to try what? Flip mode? Drift mode. Oh. Flip it. No, he said flip mode. I'm like, we no, just turned into a 90s it. I don't rap have video. Flip okay. Yet. Jesus. 
It doesn't take a lot of crosswind for that to get squirrely fast, does it? Nope. Well, I'm staying one spot more or less. So this is drift mode. Oh, that was that bad. Who hit who? Did you just remove your entire tail? Yep. Well, there's the tail. There's the body. And uh, there's the wheels. Oh, it's still going. Huh? <laughs> the motors are still going. Turn the motors off. We'll burn them up on the grass. So you killed your first duet. You can put it back together. Oh, I got it good. Don't break it any worse. Just an outside loop. Uh, fiberglass tape. Uh, use foam safe glue, do that together, put fiberglass tape around the back of it. And then on your leading edge of the tape, put some, uh, some electrical tape on there. Yeah. I fix this plane for him. What's that? I fix this plane for him. Should yeah. this be plugged in? I can no. do it. That's for any of the tactic radios that I have. Uh, tactic planes. I got it good. You, you fly anything to do? Yeah. Yeah. Is that your new rating? Uh, I've had this for a while. Well, it's the 9XR. Oh, the new radio, yes. Yeah. Get over here. Tree. Whoa, hey. Yeah, <laughs> tree. <laughs> I mean, technically, I could still fly it. Do you have a tail? No. You can't fly it without a tail. <laughs> well, he still has a tail, it's just not attached. You only fucking have throttle and rudder, and now you don't have a rudder. So no, you can't fly it. As long as I get a nice straight edge, you know, yeah. a little it's, upward angle. You can't fly You can try it. Watch what happens. You're just going to break it loose. It's all right. I got lots of glue. You're welcome to give it a shot. No. <laughs> I know how this ends. There's going to be more glue than, fire, uh, than styrofoam. <laughs> Such is often the fate of a duet. Yeah. It's just so strange. You can't. Who is who? I'm low. Okay. Chris has got the two black stripes on his wing. Enos doesn't have two black stripes on his wing? I don't think so. Three on one wing and one on the other. Enos is way the fuck up there and too far downwind. Yep. Enos may be driving to Riverbend to get his plane. Enos is we don't have any thermals. The good news is we've got really serious lateral thermals. That's it, played over the quad. Hey, flying dipshit. I love flying dipshit. Is that a new term of endearment? No. <laughs> I might have done a thing. Mild irritation. Are you trying to buzz in us? I'm landing. Landing ever so gracefully. Yes, as graceful as a deer with 
broken legs. Look at that. And feel the flat. There you go. That's what I needed. How are you flying? Hello? Where's your plane? Oh, over there. Tree. Tree? Tree. That's how I'm flying. Where did he just go fly? I swear to God, I'm good flying, though. I left in such a hurry. And I'd like to point out this is what happened. I filled my e cig I put my e cig in my pocket. I made it all the way to the park before I called Rose and said, Rose, can you help, please? I need that. <laughs> Did you spill any? <laughs> Tank's half empty. And I have a very minty ass right now. No, there. God, no. It's it's basically tropical punch. Hawaiian made by, punch. Made by Guar. Guar. Made by Guar. Made by... Made by... It's Guar. It's Guar fluid. I don't want any of Guar's fluids. <laughs> You've never been to one of the concerts, huh? <laughs> Is that mine? No, that's mine. Oh. I have yours. Okay. So you can tell direction oh, when it's further out. Okay, around. that's a good idea. You have mine. I have yours. Well, I, oh, have you seen the new uh, VTOL system on these? What? The VTOL system. That's your vertical takeoff system. I think it's trying to tell you something. Oh, God. Yeah. The battery's low. You're right. right. You just got an extra life or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You need more blinky lights. I need more blinky lights, is right. I'd put a 555 on there just to get more blinky it's lights. It's an Arduino. What the shit? Oh, now did, we're did you know that? Motor on. Okay. <laughs> You're flying off an Arduino? I'm doing loops and shit. Seriously? Yeah, this is an uh, Arduino. There's an Arduino in there. That's awesome. Nope. Yes, sir. I'm going to attempt yes. Sir. No, I did that. Just for blog cred? That's how I snapped the tail. I have a thing you want to tell me before I attempt right. it outside there. Uh, that was going to be the leader after all. Uh... That's the one that's got the, uh, you, you snap the, um... Yeah, this is this is the one that I snapped the tail piece on. Right no, I was, I was going to attempt... No, no, he broke this off, he pulled, he went to a dive and pulled up so hard he just snapped it. Really? Yeah, yeah, I took the horizontal stabilizer off, starboard side. Got enough proof to do that, huh? Well, if you dive bomb the fucking thing, yeah. <laughs> How well, high did you go? The size of the elevator. Couple hundred feet. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable landing. Bad now. <laughs> You're sad now? You'll notice I brought three different things to fly because I knew other people would be here and want to hang out, and I crash a lot. Uh, <laughs> what else did you bring to fly? I brought my other Radian. Yes, I have two now. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, <laughs> Todd, did you hear the story of the Radian? No. I bought this. This is the one battery Radian. <laughs> okay. And by the way, it still is the one battery Radian. I bought this Radian a couple weeks ago. The day it arrived, I took it outside, I flew it for about four minutes and put it in a tree, where it remained for a week. <laughs> Wind blew it out of the tree, the neighborhoods brought it back, collected their $20 reward. And uh, the battery was destroyed, but everything else was fine. So I took it out, I, and I learned my lesson, I brought it here to the park to fly it. I put it in the air, I flew it for exactly one battery, which did not make it all the way to the end of the battery. Okay? <laughs> yeah. It never has yet. So I, uh, and then it started to rain like hell, just God shit on me. So I went home <laughs> with a partially charged battery. I took it out again later and uh, took it flying and I did a dive maneuver like this and I did a roll like that, but it was from a much higher altitude and it was, you know, one of those pull up, pull up. <laughs> And I snapped the starboard horizontal stabilizer off. And, the, and when you do that, by the way, the plane does this. You get like a little twitchy seizure moment. It started buzzing violently. It was really cool. 
Yeah, it makes a funny sound when it starts golfing. Yep, there. and then nice. I took it home. So, and now I'm back again for more punishment with this damn plane. <laughs> the first day I got this, I brought it out here with two batteries, and it was about two o'clock when I got here. Yeah. And I flew around for an hour and a half. Yeah. With two batteries. Yeah. Wow. And Eno's called me up. He's like, "Dude, you got to get a micro radiant." So I got a micro radiant. It's been nothing but hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really chill. It's, I saw someone. Oh, oh, listen. You know what that is? That's the sound of fucking victory there is what that is. <laughs> That's the low battery warning. Did you actually not know that until yesterday? I did not know that until yesterday because I'd never flown it long enough to get there. <laughs> I read the fucking uh, manual. The, the thing you told manual. me, read the manual. They come with books? I need to <laughs> 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 like, read the manual. Okay, read the manual. It's uh, Bank and Yank. You need a book? <laughs> it's not Bank and Yank. It doesn't have ailerons. Yeah, this is this is Bank and Yank. Bank All you Yank have is, is rudder. Ailerons. Huh? Bank and yank is ailerons, so you bank to the side and you yank the elevator. So it doesn't have a rudder. Right. I thought bank and yank was doesn't have ailerons, so you have to just. How, how do you do this when you only have this? It fucking turns. <laughs> yes, it does. It turns. I ain't bitching. It turns. <laughs> I thought bank and yank was stupid simple planes that don't have ailerons. I didn't know they made planes that had ailerons and didn't have a rudder. Let's see. Yeah. At you first, need the uh, army trainers only had elevator and rudder, and that's what you train. Make on. that fly! It scares me. I got to try that out. For you. Thank you. Make an adapter cable. Now for what your the fuck do batteries. I do with it? You make an adapter cable for your batteries to fit this. <laughs> but I can't fly it today. No. I've got some that's lithium sad. batteries you could use. Plug the connector into there so you don't lose it. I got nice big. You have a plane that you retired that uses uh, these little batteries, right? Huh? You have a plane uh, that retired. Yeah, that uses but that these. plane uses way bigger little batteries. batteries. Uses and what? The, uh, 3C 800 million. 3S? Yeah. Okay. I got 13. 3S. 3S. 3C. C, C means something very different. 3S is three series batteries. Ah, okay. 3C would be three times the charge rate, which really wouldn't make much sense in that particular context. But that's why they. This is 25C. That isn't 25 cells. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are my first electrics. Ah, you're a nitro guy. No, I was a gasser and a dieseler before. Diesel? Diesel. They make diesel planes? I made diesel planes. Oh. <laughs> I made diesel engines. From the lawnmowers. <laughs> no, the lawnmower you, was <laughs> fucking, that was a bullshit. You ready? Yeah, go nuts. Todd, what do you got? Are battery you battery charging, that's what I got. Oh, okay. I don't, like know, I don't know how long it'll seat. take, it's on fast charge, so maybe a half an hour. Is my plane just goose itself or something? <laughs> I'm waiting on some fiber glass tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got you got bigger problems. Hey <laughs> good. I almost brought I should have brought my other plane, but it's not ready yet. I gotta wait for my my new module for my 9X. It's a homebrew radiant, pretty much. I don't know if I call that a radiant. It's not quite not a radiant. anywhere near a radiant. That's a. That is a bit of airplane technology that holds true to an old adage of uh, an aviation guy who said, "If you give me a big enough engine, I can make a barn door fly." That. There's your big enough engine. Uh, did you find uh, a uh, thermal up there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, the good side is you found a thermal. The bad side is it's a quarter mile away <laughs> and downwind. That's easy to trade altitude for. I'm not that good a pilot, dude. I would I would trade altitude for having an airplane if I did that. <laughs> I already have a couple rockets still out at Black Rock in the swamp. I don't want to do that with a plane.
watch. <laughs> it's 30 bucks. I'm not all that concerned about it. It's gone. Yeah, oh, no, I see it. Yeah. It's pointed this way. I am? Yeah. You're pointed, well, it's pointed that way. It's right, it's right there. I can't see it. So it's got to come. It's pointed this way right now. You know, it's pointed that way now. Here. Now it's pointed I can't that see way. It. Take it. Look, where, where are you at? I don't know. I can't see it. Todd can see it? Todd can see it. I, I go straight know. from the top of that tree. Todd's the tallest tree. No, I'm not. It's a little black dot. Specked out. I haven't done that since high school. Oh, I see it now. Whoa, fuck, fuck. you're way out there. Yeah. Holy shit. I think you're coming this way. I, it keeps freaking circling. I can't. You've lost your radio. Yeah. This thing's going to end up in fruit Okay. You're coming this way. Coming at us. God, if you get that back, you're going to flip it. Yeah. <laughs> Into a headwind, easily half a mile away at this point. And in a cloud. No, he's back. He's back. I can't see it at all. It's, it's specking out into and out of that cloud. There it is. Going right, going right, going right. You actually have lost it in a low cloud. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't see it. I can't see it either. It's gone. Battle <laughs> point. <laughs> I'm not all that concerned. Oh, you got the any link? Yeah. What's the any link? Uh, makes it so you oh, can... so you can talk to any radio if that's how you use your turn to G on a spectrum thing? or? Uh, no. Uh, that's how. Orange. That's how. Okay. Yep, I got one coming. That guy right there. I'm sticking with the real deal. Uh, I know it costs more and all that shit, yes. but you know what? My plane's right there. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. My plane's right there. That's, Where's your plane? That's operator error. Where's right your there. plane? No, I think that, I think you lost your radio. Well, I did once it fucking got out there. there. I've been told by a million guys if you can see it, you can fly it. Nope. Turns oh. out you can actually get it far enough away that you can't fly it. What direction is that? That's north. North. So head towards Canada right now. No. No. That's, that's north. North. That's northwest. West. So. Canada is there, and there if you kind of. Okay. But that's Canada. Oh, yeah, it's kind of going. You it's heading out to the Canada lake. Canada that way, but it's a hell of a hike. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And this doesn't fly like this. It flies with incidence to the wind or to the air. So you have virtual camber. Virtual. That that's one way to look at it. Yeah. That's. I why... like to think of it as stall. <laughs> Chris. Well, it's uh. <laughs> High, high alpha. High alpha. High alpha. Right. <laughs> There's something you got to know about Enos and air traffic. It looks like shit. This is actually doing bad things for the flight characteristics of the plane. It cost nothing to make. He probably made this out of parts from something else that actually somebody else paid money for that he bought like a plane at a garage sale no. and just put the parts together. I've got... I, mean, I will goddamn service. bet you that plane that might have cost a whole 20 bucks will fly better than that one that cost me 60. Yeah. It's ugly, but it works. Just like me. His entire life's motto falls into if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. And it bugs the shit out of everybody who works with him. <laughs> no, I don't uh, it's one of the orange receivers. Yep. I've got $35 ish into the whole thing. Most of it there, there, and there. Uh, Twelve dollars. Um, this was like eighteen or nineteen. That cheap? Yeah. Okay. For both of them. I love that prop saver idea. And now, is that a thing you buy, or did that? Is that a hack? Uh, a little bit of both. This one's actually two prop savers. That mm -hmm. the screws and the rubber band weren't for this model. Or for this uh, prop saver, it's narrower than what that was, so I just okay. made it work. But I had it set up so I can go through what and put. What the fuck does that do? Well, once I got it to where it was flying, yeah, comfortably, you're gonna put ailerons on it. You're gonna put ailerons on it. Okay. If 
Fuck it. Just take this right off, put elephants on it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it flies shaped like that. Yeah. It doesn't take shit to fly, man. Yeah, but there's no vertical stabilization. Oh, I thought you said take this off. Yeah, just take the whole tail right off. And oh. put no, you still need something. Yeah, that's what I figured. Still need a vertical stabilizer there. You don't have to, but it makes it fly a hell of a lot Are you better. you charged yet? I'm cheating. Still charging. That one's dead. We're gonna try this one. I need to get one of those. Uh, this is the connector. I need to get one of those for my truck. Two of them, actually. My truck currently runs on two seven two ni uh, nickel metal hydrides. Okay. This should. What a hack. Look at that. <laughs> battery three. Huh? Found another battery. Kind of hacked it in there, but it works. Does it have a yellow plug? It's good. Will it fit well, that? Yes, it does. Well, no, I had a blue plug, but I fit it in the yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Keep your flight closed. <laughs> If it doesn't fly yet, well, sorry. <laughs> no, we, we have the motor to get this. All right. Yeah. Waiting on the green light. I see a green light. How is that not a green light? It's blinking. Wait. Waiting for, uh... Waiting for, uh, lock. GPS lock. Do not fly on head. What kind of Arduino is in there? What kind of Arduino is in there? You gave me a spark plug with really. You got a Mega in there? Yeah. Are you running it in a standalone or you just crammed it in there? No, it's part of the. Uh, it comes, comes that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really got to remember it's the right thumb. It's the right thumb. That is so cool. <laughs> what? Wow. Cartwheel. Hey, Enos. Yeah. You didn't happen to put your uh, phone number or anything on that plane, did you? Yeah. Then maybe someone will find it. My phone number and the address, and uh, it's probably over in someone's tree. I don't know. Or on their if roof. It hit the right thermal. It just, if it hits it and just rides it. Well, it's not going to get high enough up to really make it across the lake. I, well, you might just made it to a sailplane. It is a sailplane. It's not a sailplane, um, oh, what's it called? Glider? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, fucking planes that land on water. I want to call it a sailplane. Not so, a sailplane. Aqua or uh, amphibious? Are you trying to fly under his prop wash? Pontoon plane? There you go. All right. Battery dangle. <laughs> I got battery dangle. Yes, you do. You need better Velcro. drugs and that's all I can say. Just you you've obviously done a lot of recreational pharmaceuticals. Not in a while. 
I'm about 15 years. The impact is still there. Yes. I don't remember when was the last thing I posted. So, Enos, mm. I get in my little plane here, and I stuck to climb. Mm. Well, now I'm doing a lot better, but I was having issues with it porpoising. Mm. Balance. Where does it mean if it's porpoising? Porpoising. Battery needs to go further backwards? It depends. Uh, look at the dock, the paper that came with it, or look at the manual online. Find out where the balance point is. I'd get it down for it. <laughs> I'm just totally like hands off gliding, just seeing what it does. Watch out, guys, it's coming back. It's going to return. <laughs> Editor? <laughs> it goes where the fucking watch. Nice. It's going right uh, where you're at, so. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to drop out of the sky here? No, it's going to slowly it's bring itself down. Yeah, but you're, you're in your GPS column, but is it going to descend? Yes. Okay. Here it goes now. See, I ain't afraid to get close to him. Had issues with this I am. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to take off in the wrong No, not the GoPro stuff, the um, um, Oculus Rift quadcopter. No, but that's a cool idea. It's got head tracking, so you can literally be looking around on the bottom of the, the uh, quadcopter. In this? Let me find out. Let me get some altitude. I want to be a couple of mistakes high for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have never before tried inverted flight. The polyhedral wing really wants me to not fly inverted. Yeah. I can I can get an outside roll, but that's as good as it gets. It wants to self-correct really bad. Let me let me get back over here up into the wind. Okay, I'm going to attempt inverted flight now. Kind of? Ish? So I, I can do inverted flight downwind. Do this hack yet? That's a hack? Lipo battery. Why do you need a lipo battery in your radio? Really? Yeah. Why do you think, man? Because I don't want to... Let's see the hack. Batteries in my radio last for months. Months, huh? Months. <laughs> Until that... No. You're all yeah. up there and all of a He's right on. there with me. That's a hack? Hey, man. Todd's pretty good at hacks. Oh, <laughs> That's one of the hacks. That's one of the many hacks. Hey, you yeah. just throw it in half. Yo. Todd, I, uh, I, don't, I don't have LiPo batteries in my radio. 
Yeah, you're using double A's, right? I'm I'm still using I am using double A's and yeah. I'm still using the first batteries that came with my radio. You're not flying really? enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I just I just thought of something. It's true, I don't have like that battery. It's plug it into charger and I was like, oh yeah, I probably don't think the batteries in my radio to charge it. Because you charge it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the upgraded version. Got the built-in backlight and all that. Yep. I yeah, I really need Enos to have a damn plane because I wanted to. I wanted him to teach me shit. You well, let him fly yours a little bit. He, he had a plane. He did on. teach you. He taught you not to not that's to lose the damn I'll thing. Today. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this plane without the. Sweet. You're a lot closer to the ground than I like to be. I'm just saying. You get us an. Uh, Hanger donated. Hanger. The hanger. Flying birds. For the planes that I'm getting into, hangers really aren't big enough. No. I have a room big enough. Any plane that you can fly indoors, I have room enough. We just need to clean the damn room. You know, the flags kind of make it. Yeah. I tried that. I hit a flag and landed on top of one of the machines. Well, my problem has never been the flag. It's it's all the shit in the room. Target fixation? The, the mini quads work really nice in there. Yeah, the mini quads love the MBA. And most small helicopters, anything below a 130 is fine. What's the number represent for helicopters? Uh, diameter of the rotor disc in millimeters. But flying in the MDH is what made me a decent pilot, actually. <laughs> I had to get really good at not crashing into shit. No, I'm talking about planes. Oh, planes, I've never been able to fly worth a shit. All these really cool moves you're seeing me pull off, most of that's just blind fucking luck. Yeah. <laughs> and, and UMX. And the fact that I, yeah, UMX is, is a lot. That, that AS3X shit, that makes me a pretty cool pilot. Oh, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's always fun when you have birds take your plane out. <laughs> I, I kind of want to go pick a fight with them. <laughs> hey, where you guys go? Hey, guys! Guys! Come back and play with me! <laughs> I just wait for you to hack and throw some The uh, best air. one I've had so far is I took my quad out to Black Rock, and I was just off the ground. I was I was like three Black feet Rock. in the air. A, a flight area that we use. It's a place I'm working on buying. But we have a... A big flight area, it's a big open field net, and I'm out flying, and I'm like just low buzzing the ground, and fucking, I went over a bee hive. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Bees, wasps, something that lived in the ground and was really pissed off. And they just start pouring out of the ground. And I'm like this high off the ground, and they start coming out of this, there, were, there was two holes. There was a hole like here and a hole over here, and they just start coming out, like a lot of them. <laughs> and they'd like go out and they'd go out low and <laughs> in my quad and oh my god <laughs> fly my quad and I'm shredding these fuckers and I'm just like yeah I turned into like my own private Pantera video <laughs> yeah <laughs> fuck you wasps and and then I realized hang on we need bees and those might be bees I couldn't tell so I bees won't out of attack you bees won't attack your thing no. oh okay so, well, and I should have killed them all because I quit doing it because I thought they might be bees and oh, I felt be, uh, that. Bees are good. Questions. I like bees. Bees are happy. Bees but don't wasps, usually come out of the ground. Wasps do. Wasps serve no practical application at all. They all need to be killed. Much like cats. But, yeah. And mosquitoes. Do you hear about the thing for the mosquitoes? Yes. That's awesome. that's a good idea. That's a damn good idea. The Monsanto thing. They came up with a way to genetically modify mosquitoes, specifically the Anopheles mosquito, where like 95 plus percent of all offspring are male. Yeah. yeah. It takes like three Yeah, yeah, like three cycles. Like three cycles. A few generations and they all die out. And they're done. This is the beginnings of the next fucking World War Z movie. Okay, <laughs> just right there. That's that's how it starts. We're going we're gonna to kill out the Anopheles mosquito. We're going to create the Mephistopheles mosquito. And it's going to be a whole fucking deal, man. Like, I'm reading this article, and I'm like, 
Have you fuckers never, ever read a book, watched a movie? I know how this ends. Fucking zombies. This is how this ends. <laughs> zombies and gray goo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and Eno's still wearing his controller in hopes that his plane will magically appear. Yeah, it'll just drift in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what's gonna happen? It's got your address on it, right? Yeah. I'll get home and it'll be in the fucking driveway. No, no, a week from now. <laughs> Cause my house is that way. A week from now, an eight-year-old Mexican kid's gonna show up at your house and go, Diplane, 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 Diplane. Useless trivia, what's his name? Fuck if I know. Herve Villachez. He's dead. Yeah, he's been dead for a while. But so, stopped himself. You know, really? He killed himself? Yeah. I didn't know that. So yeah, Herve Villachez. That show went off the air four years before I was born. I used to watch it at my grandparents. That and the Rat Patrol. What the fuck's that? Like Mash meets the A-Team. <laughs> Quality entertainment. Oh, it was terrible. It was fucking <laughs> terrible. See, I just I just sit around and watch MacGyver all day. I used to watch MacGyver. I used to I used to sit up at night and like every night the news would come on. I think this was channel 13, I could be wrong, but the news would come on, then after the news, after the eleven o'clock news, you'd have MASH yep. and Hogan's Heroes. Sure. And then Night Court. Yeah. And oh, Night Court. That was the shit, man. I eighties kid. Night Court was like the, I, I had the Night biggest Court. crush on Christine Sullivan, dude. <laughs> I, man, you don't know. You, you just, you don't know. I don't want to know. And that was John Larroquette in his second best role ever. Okay. Best role you, I've ever seen John Larroquette in was he played a lawyer on the West Wing named Lionel Tibby. I used to watch Chips when I was young. John Larroquette is really good at being, at yelling and being pissed off, which is hard for a white guy. There's a lot of black guys that can be really good at yelling and being pissed off. Samuel L. Jackson's made a whole career out of it. Mm. Oh, fuck, look at that. Look at that. Can you hear that? It's yeah, the glorious good. sound of victory and honor. I thought you just changed it. No, no. What is that sound? Servos. No, not that. No, that's... What the fuck are you... I'm trying to find the fucking motto. Of the flight, flight club? club? Yeah. Really? He doesn't care that much. That was like five jokes ago. I know it's five it was like jokes. Five ago. jokes ago. Tell I started on this five jokes ago. Battery charges. I don't know. I gotta look at it. Do you have lights on the bottom of your quad? Not yet. He's got lots of lights on the top. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I, I want to put some lights on the quad. Fly inverted. <laughs> yeah, just flip the props. Yeah, over. just flip the props over, right? You can do that with with. There's a quad out that's got a collected pitch. Yeah. I'm not making this up. I, I that scares me. <laughs> scares me too. <laughs> They're scary enough like this. How's your, what's your state of charge? Uh, it's still charging. I'm at 12.26 volts at four amps. So you got a little bit. That's got a little bit yet. I started. I got two batteries on my quads. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I burned through all mine. I went through all three batteries. I don't have another. Maybe I got another charger. If you got another charger, you can buy it. It's kind of dumb. I don't know if I've got another totally charger. I might have another charger. Okay. Oh, it's official. The mosquitoes. Are skaters. You know how you fix the mosquitoes. How so? What you do is you come out. You get yourself a good 55-gallon drum of used motor oil. You come out and you find every little nook and cranny of standing water, and you just put. Put that oil on top of all the little ponds nearby. I fix your skeeter problem right up. Especially you come <laughs> over and you just set them on fire. Yeah, yeah. You light up that. That's why you used to get rid of ants. Fire on there. Gasoline in an ant pile. Just for flavor. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so years ago, they used to drive around in a town not far from here. It's called Schwartz Creek. They used to drive around the town of Schwartz. They used to do this all over the country. They drive around in the summertime when the streets are all dried out and dusty and you know everybody drives around on dirt roads and kicks up all the dust. And they would spray various things, usually some concept of used oil, on the streets to, to keep the dust down. You couldn't do it with just water because that evaporates, so they do it with oil. They did this in the town of Schwartz Creek. Well, it turns out the oil contained a really cool substance it's called dioxin, and lots of it. Yeah. Shortly thereafter, 
Along came Chris. Along came the <laughs> concept of Superfund. Yeah. Which may have been, I, I could, I, I'm not 100%, but it may have been created because of Schwartz Creek. That was like a really big, famous one. But the last pictures that anybody's seen of Schwartz Creek is houses that have spray painted numbers on them where the government came through and wrote like, you know, a dude looks up in his book and he's like, 27,000. Super fun. Yeah, yeah. Just don't care what it costs, you're moving. You charged yet? <laughs> that recording ran out right at the end of that joke. That wasn't a joke, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. They I'm sorry, a story. They... So, how is that funny to you? What kind of sick fuck are you? We're a super fun site. I mean, those people had lots. He's from Florida. <laughs> fuck those people. He's from Florida. It is a super fun site. <laughs> With or without the D on the end? Super fun? Oh. Depends on if you're gay. If you're in Miami, it's a super fun site. <laughs> Key West? Wait. No, Miami is where you want to be if you're gay. Oh, it's not. It's not the Keys. It's it's not bad, <laughs> but I've been drunk in Orlando once or twice, and there's all sorts of fun shit to do there. <laughs> <laughs> Get sent there on HP training missions. Oh, it's a junket. Yeah. All right. Because steel case would send me down there. Go this down is going to end. Bad. I got to go to Taiwan a few months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On purpose. Works in me. 350QX, that's the drone, right? That's, that's totally. It's not a drone, it's a quad. Shut the fuck up. See how many times. Are there. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't flown this since. Yeah, I could use one of your batteries. The big crash, really? Yeah, okay. See how many times in time. What kind of battery you got? Let me see. How's the battery on your uh, GoPro? Perfect. A GoPro on a, the battery on a GoPro. Alright, I'm stealing it. It's dark as fuck out. So when you're in Taiwan, count how many times you get offered to buy the cabbies to have them take you to a brothel. <laughs> oh man! How many times? Taiwan? You read yeah. the, uh, the, the. You read the. Oh act. fuck you! <laughs> Not Taiwan. I'm going to Thailand. Oh. Damn it, Liz! Didn't charge it. No, Liz stole the vet, the memory card out of my GoPro. <laughs> the video team keeps doing that. Well, we need a memory card. There's a uh, Dicks. 256 megabyte down. So the IRC, surplus. go ahead and send us some what are they? Yeah, you put that a in micro there. Micro SD. 64 gig is yeah. what I put in here. Micro SD. Uh, the little itty bitty ones that go in phones. Micro. Yeah, micro yeah. SD. So, hey guys, we need some 64 gig micro SDs. Yeah. What the fuck is that sound? That's that would him. be his. His. Oh, booting up uh, with my battery. Now watch. He's gonna fly that thing off, lose it, and there goes my battery. That's the mobile reaver. <laughs> that's like. Going to a concert right there, right? Wow, that's My where God. his fucking battery went. We got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many minutes of flight time you go with that? Uh, well, with my big battery, about fifteen. This battery, I don't know. You're gonna get a puffed battery back. Yeah. You puff my battery, I'm gonna kick your ass. I got the same. I just used the same one. I might. Kick your ass. <laughs> On the flight line. Oh, we go for it. Now it's going to take me half an hour to get my GPS. Set. Why do you need GPS? I don't know where it is. It needs it's GPS. Right it needs GPS so that it can fly the fuck off on its own. Come back. I tried that return to home shit one time. It returned to tree. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'd stand there after. I can run.
Shut the fuck out. That'll cut work. Okay. It died? Hey, at least if you go up really high, we can see it at night. <laughs> I don't have mine set to go up fast. Because it's in, uh, in altitude control, so it'll stay at altitude while I fly it. Mine's got altitude hold, too. I just take my finger off this thing. And it stays right there? Once I do the uh, upgrade thing to it, yeah. I gotta upgrade my firmware. Oh. How'd you go chase the birdies with that? Oh, fuck, there's a the bird. <laughs> there's two. <laughs> the one that's uh, playing the buddy and I put together in high school. You gotta tell him that story. Uh-oh. <laughs> I gotta come over here you so we can hear it on the camera. Story. He built a fucking plane. So, my introduction to RC was in 10th grade when my great grandpa died and we found all of his flight manuals from World War II cool. and they included some uh, uh, aeronautical engineering books. Nice. So Buddy and I, rednecks with all sorts of fun tools to play with, you know, we had a metal shop, we had whatever scrap around that we could grab and play with. We made a uh, ultralight, but for generous levels of calling something an ultralight, it was under 250 pounds. You made it out of plywood. Yeah. So <laughs> not something people generally consider when they say ultralight. Yeah. Look, go look at uh, a bunch of the homemade planes. They're usually made out of either aluminum or plywood. Light up. So, we started off making RC plane uh, 12 to 1, so that we'd have one foot for one inch, and got every got our decollage angles, or decollage angles, whatever, all figured out, got wing angles all figured out, got everything squared out in the little RC model before we made the big one. Uh, uh, how big was your little RC model? Uh, it was 19 inches. Oh, so it was tiny. Yeah. It was 19 feet wide when we made ours. So, uh, wing area doesn't scale. <laughs> 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 and this thing took off a lot quicker than we expected. And was a lot more... We couldn't fly it in any wind. Okay. We ended up getting it. We're, this is the model? No, the, oh, the full the size one. plane. Now, what was the wingspan of the full size one? 19 feet. Jesus! Holy Lord. Out of plywood. Uh, that was plywood and aluminum spars. That's why when you knock 4140, I just kind of laugh it off. Because that's. It was uh, 4140. Goofy ass triangle stock. Because that's what you had. Because that's what we had. <laughs> and it worked. That's some straight up fucking Wright Brothers shit there, man. We, we had the book. All the math was done. We just had to make it what we wanted. The uh, motor we used was one of those goofy uh, uh, 16 horse, two cylinder Briggs and Stratton motors side valve <laughs> loud clanky this is like a lawnmower yeah pretty much it's more like a a small tractor motor small tractor. hey todd what yeah yeah that's my altitude hold that's altitude hold that's i'm altitude. in loiter mode right now so it'll just hold position yeah that's what mine's doing right now now, I'm flying a GPS column if with I put altitude hold. Altitude hold, it'll hold altitude, but it's not necessarily going to hold GPS column. Oh, see, mine'll do both. And if I turn it off altitude oh, hold, that, that's only because my trims aren't. I'll still hold my column, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do altitude manually. Yeah, I can do the same thing with. 
so, so I put it in stabilized. This is stabilized mode. So now I can control. And I've got really uh, quick throttle on it now. So if I try and I don't know what the little blinky light means. I think it means I'm losing battery. You know how you can tell you're losing battery? It falls out of the sky. The motor's a, this prop is spinning. <laughs> it's, a, it's a quad, man. It has no... There's no gliding. There is yeah. no glide pack. So this is... There's a gravity pack. In my, uh, in my position hold or whatever, what I, with the loiter mode I'm in right now, I can move it around, but it doesn't. it's not real fast. If I let go of the stick, it'll hold position. Okay. It's got a drift mode, too, which is kind of neat. Where it acts like a, kind of flies like a plane. Where your yaw doesn't really work, you just move your stick around forward, backward, etc., and it and it turns. You want to see a weird one, Todd? See if yours does this. Here, Enos, fly that back right at us. Land it is like it, five feet what's away. What's the from orientation? Us. Huh? It front is front, back is back. Just land it like five feet out in front of us. It doesn't want to get closer. It won't come any closer. It won't go inside your safe circle. <laughs> How fucked up is that? It's oh, a safety exactly. thing for little kids. So you don't have to flourish when you're landing. No, I've no. I've been looking at getting the little Nano if QX. You, if you just take this and do that, it'll take off slow. It'll go to whatever percentage of its, like it'll say, I don't know, 40 meters or something like that, and it'll say, well, you're at 50% of that, so I'll go up 20 meters. If you just take the, the throttle and pull it down a little bit, it'll go down, and it'll okay. stop there. Watch out. It's coming in. It's coming in? All right, let me get out of your way. It should just land. It should. It should land by the line where you took off. Land that damn thing. Doing it all by itself. What? Here's how I land mine. Do a flip. No. Thousand dollars in the air. No. <laughs> I can't. Have I can't. Have, I got 400 bucks for the thing. Um, 300 bucks for the camera. The camera. Was so bad. Yeah, the camera has. So, I've crashed it out here pretty bad. So 700 bucks in the air. <laughs> yeah, mine's about 500 in the air right now. As soon as I had the camera, it'll be 800. Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of dead batteries. Hey, light out. Todd, hmm. how'd you break my light? Uh, I didn't do it. I'm blaming you. Okay. I find that to be the good safe system. Yep, that's the hole for dead batteries. Speaking of dead batteries, I've got one. What, that? <laughs> okay. Well, you guys have fun. That's today's captain's blog, Geek Group Flight Club, with Todd and his quad and, and Enos. With his lost And uh... his plane. <laughs> <laughs> and then so we got... if you live in the Fruit Ridge area... Twink and his maybe planes Nunica, over there. Yeah. <laughs> Cooper'sville, yeah. Cooper'sville, yeah, and Barnes, <laughs> somewhere out that way. Just west of Grand Rapids, a little bit north, and you happen to come across a uh, UMX Radian, and now you, now you know Enos's legit real name, which is Craig, and he would really like it back. So, yeah. There is there is a $20 reward for anybody who returns his plane. So, yeah, thank you. You guys have fun, and that's today's Captain's Blog. <laughs>